friends. Today we're going to make an Italian no-bake cake. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to have to have some crushed pineapple, some Cool Whip, some sweetened condensed milk, some a fourth a cup of lemon juice and some vanilla wafers, some coconut, and some pecans. Okay, Chris is over there making uh, pasta salad. He's been smoking the ribs and stuff like that. Are you at a stopping place where you can do something for me? No. Okay, I'll do it. What? I need to toast this coconut. We'll have plenty of that. You just pour some here. We're probably going to put, get a skillet, wash that skillet. And then we're going to probably, uh, probably going to use this whole package. It's a seven ounce package just from Walmart. And we're just going to pour it in a skillet. What are you saying? And, uh, and you just barely brown it. Now it can, it can scorch or burn really, really easy. Stop. And, um, so you have to constantly stir it. But if, if you toast it, it's just so much better. So to get started, we're going to line uh, just a regular glass cake pan or any kind of cake pan with these vanilla wafers. Nice sunny Sunday. He is smoking some ribs and a turkey breast outside. And then I guess Christopher is going to hound us to death until we get over to his house and do some more work. We don't have any church because of COVID. There's some people in the church that have it and it's been exposed or in habit. So as far as leadership. So just line this really, line the bottom. too many in here. Here, you need this. I use a wooden spoon. To... So what are you supposed we to like brown? doing things together. No, we don't. We're just browning this? Mm-hmm. Then we're not supposed to put it in after browning. Uh, just leave it. We're all so popular. Okay, so I got this lined up. I'm going to have to use some more for another layer. So I've got the first layer done, and then I've got our crushed pineapple, um, and that's uh, gonna be like a uh, 20 ounce can, and we're gonna put in a fourth a cup of lemon juice. And I'm just using this lemon juice because I don't have time to juice lemons. And, uh, and then we're gonna use a can of sweetened condensed milk, okay? And then we're going to mix that together and get a spoon. Oh. And the spoon's too big. This is my favorite wooden spoon. And I can't even remember where I got it. Let me get a knife or something to get that out. Because we want every drop. This is a post. You're supposed to do it. It's really better if you do this the night before, but uh, I didn't get it done this night. So we're just going to do it this morning and then have it for this evening. Okay. Mmm. I should put it. Now, and as far as updating on my juice, I have been doing my juice. I did it for breakfast and lunch yesterday, and I did it for, um, and we'll do it for lunch today. Now, I did have a piece of toast for breakfast this morning. Okay, now, don't worry about this, because this is going to be kind of runny. Okay, see? You don't see y'all. It's a little bit runny. But that's okay. That's just going to soak up into those cookies. And we're going to pour this over these cookies. Just like that. Oh, some of my cookies. Kind of 
don't like a banana pudding. It's good, it's better if it sits for several hours. And we're going to spread this on there and then we're going to put another layer of cookies. Okay. Somebody's calling and asking me an air conditioning question. Huh, it's not even summer. Okay, now we're going to put another layer of cookies. Let me go ahead and put that in the skillet where I can start warming up. layering this and I'm going to cook that coconut real quick because I can't put that hot coconut on the cool whip. I'll be right back. Okay, got our coconut toasted and that just uh, makes it go up a notch when you toast your pecans and your coconut. Okay, finish layering these cookies. going to pretty much take this whole box and so I'm going to have to use some of these ones that are kind of broke but they're not going to show anyway because we're going to put Cool Whip and the coconut and stuff on top. I have found, I mean there's some Walmart stuff I'll use like the condensed milk and even the pineapple and um, certain things but when it comes to these cookies here. I think it's better to use the, the good brand. Okay, we might have about three cookies left over. Alright, so there is our next layer. And we're going to do our Cool Whip. And my Cool Whip was in the freezer, but I think it's probably close enough to so I'm going to spread this on and then I'll be right back because I might have a little trouble doing this and put it, and spread. Put it out. And now I'm going to put on our coconut. Our toasted coconut. Bell pepper? I don't think bell pepper. No. Oh, and then. <laughs> I thought he was saying. No, this. Yeah, that'd be good. He's making a pasta salad over there. Oh, it just looks so good. Show him the. Hold it up and let him see it. It's got cheese, pepperoni, olives. Oh, that looks delicious. I wish I had some right now. Too bad. <laughs> we gotta wait. I gotta have juice for lunch. Okay, this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use it all, because I think this will just be just delicious. And it's really pretty when you toast it, too. Okay, and then we're going to put on some pecans. And just use however much you want. You know, pecans are kind of expensive, so usually buy our pecans from a little guy up the road but I, had to, I just grabbed some Walmart. They're so much better though when they're homegrown. And that is your Italian no-bake cake. Now we're going to put this in the refrigerator. Like I said it's better if you do it overnight but uh, that didn't help. It didn't work, work this time. So we're just going to put it in there. We're going to eat it tonight for supper. I'll come back and show you a piece of it. This is dinner before our good dessert. Baked beans, smoked turkey breast, 
pasta salad, smoked sausage, and of course your ribs that are just fall off the bone delicious. Don't be jealous. But we're gonna test it now. Daddy's already tried it. Let's see. Mm. I love pineapple. Christopher, you're gonna love this. Give it a shot, Christopher. This is Christopher. Mm. There's old Caleb and Drake Poop. Here, let's give it a little bit. We're still so full from all that food from supper. But we're gonna cram this down anyways. Yeah. It was good. Y'all need to eat it so I won't eat it all because tomorrow I gotta go back on my diet. Mm. You think so? All right. Well. Very good. You ought to try to make it one day. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. And yell at us. We'll see you later on the next video. And check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Boots and Bonds with Chris and Christy. Share this video. See you later.